Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to get DOD security clearance? To begin the process of obtaining a DOD security clearance, you first need to receive a conditional job offer from a department or agency that requires such clearance. This is typically the case for jobs involving access to classified information or sensitive areas. Step one, complete the required forms. You will need to fill out the standard form 86, SF-86, also known as the questionnaire for national security positions. This form requires detailed information about your family, residences, employment history, foreign travel, and foreign contacts. For top secret clearances, you may need to provide information going back up to 10 years, while other clearances might require five years or more of personal history. Step two, background investigation. The Defense Counterintelligence and Security Agency, DCSA, or a Contracted Investigative Service Provider, ISP, will conduct a thorough background investigation. This involves verifying your previous and current employment, education, and residences. Investigators will also interview your friends, neighbors, supervisors, and coworkers to gather more information about your character and reliability. Step three, security office review. After submitting the SF-86, the security office will review it for accuracy and completeness. This step ensures that all necessary information is provided before proceeding with the investigation. Step four, in-person interview. As part of the background investigation, a DCSA investigator may conduct an in-person interview with you to clarify any entries on the SF-86 and to gather additional information. This interview helps to verify the information you provided and assess your trustworthiness. Step five, polygraph examination and medical evaluation. For certain positions, especially those requiring top secret sensitive compartmented information, TSSCI clearances, you may be required to take a polygraph examination and undergo a medical or psychological evaluation. The polygraph test will ask about involvement in criminal activity, illegal drugs, falsifying security forms, and other relevant topics. Step six, adjudication. The information gathered during the investigation is compiled and sent to the Department of Defense Consolidated Adjudication Facility, DODCAF, for review. Here, adjudicators assess your eligibility for a security clearance based on criteria such as loyalty to the United States, character, conduct, and discretion. The adjudicator may recommend further action, but the final decision is made at a higher level. Step seven, clearance award. If your application is approved, you will be notified by the security office that you have been granted a security clearance. This clearance can be at the confidential, secret, or top secret level and may include additional access for special compartmented information, SCI, or special access programs, SAP. Continuous vetting. Once a clearance is awarded, there is continuous monitoring of changes to your credit reports, criminal records, and public records. This ensures that any negative changes may trigger a reinvestigation to maintain the integrity of the clearance. Eligibility criteria. To be eligible for a DOD security clearance, you must demonstrate high standards of honesty, integrity, and loyalty to the United States. You must be a U.S. citizen, although dual citizens may be eligible under certain conditions. Other disqualifying factors include dishonorable discharge from the military, current involvement in illegal drug use, mental incompetence, and previous revocation of a security clearance for security reasons. What may delay or disqualify you? Factors that may delay the receipt of a DOD clearance include significant foreign national contacts, ownership of property in another country, recent felony convictions, and significant financial problems. Disqualifying factors include a dishonorable discharge, a conviction of a crime resulting in a year or more in prison, and mental incompetence. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.